Hi, I'm Brian from Syntax Technologies. You can contact me with this information. We'll continue with our SQL Accounting System training. And in today's lesson, we'll talk about opening balance. Under SQL, let's go to GL, maintain opening balance. Okay, do remember for opening it's according to the system conversion date that you set under tools option general ledger it is according to this system conversion date so sometimes you may wrongly key in as per financial start period if this two date is the same then no problem what if you do this where this both of this date is difference because you may only purchase the system in April so you do not want to key back then you set as 1st of April then the system conversion date is 1st of April and the opening is as per 1st of April so you need to take note on this part now it's very easy so just follow back your auditor report then you can key back all the opening okay whether it's on the debit side or credit side you just key accordingly now there's two things I want you to take note over here and it's very very important the first part is cash at bank your bank opening now remember the bank opening is not the balance as per your bank it's balance as per your bank plus uncredited check and also unpresented check make it simple it's cash at bank plus all the check that is not cleared at the system conversion date that means the check you given to your supplier or given out not clear then the check that given by your customer that's not clear as per system conversion date that total put over here okay so the next part is for customer and supplier opening that means the outstanding you do not key over here for example there is an opening Maxis still owe you uh, not Maxis uh, this is your creditors let's say your debtors um, Kitty there's outstanding invoice as per the system conversion date there's 100 outstanding you do not key over here but you key under customer customer invoice okay and how to key is click new same thing select your customer because it's opening meaning this invoice have been sent out to the customer before the system conversion date so you should have a previous invoice number key back and put the date as per the invoice date because it's before system conversion date let's say it's year 2000 then you can see that the invoice will become a past invoice you do not need to key in the details only the total let's say it's 100 ringgit okay so when you click save this amount will automatically post to the opening let's have a look go to GL maintain opening balance and you can see that under your current asset trade debtors your opening is posted over from your past invoice under your customer side same things go to your supplier side where you can open your supplier invoice new so supplier you still owe this supplier invoice outstanding as before system conversion date also will become a past invoice let's say this one we put 200 save when we go back to the op maintain opening balance you can see that your current liabilities there is a opening over here if it's the other way around that you owe your customer money then it will be key at customer payment and you become a past payment same things so this is how you maintain your opening over here now but there's a small problem 
Just now when you key in under bank opening, there's unpresented and uncredited check. So, which you need to do bank reconciliation later stage, but you only key in the total. How can you do the bank recon for individual check? So that's why for bank opening, beside of key in opening under the GL maintain opening balance, you still need to go to GL, bank reconciliation, new. You need to right click at this empty space. Then you can key in the opening bank reconciliation where over here you need to key in all the outstanding check one by one whether it's debit side that means customer payment that you bank into your bank or the credit side where you made payment to a supplier but have not cleared so this is how to maintain opening balance for SQL accounting system the GL side customer supplier and also bank so it's a, this is a very important video please understand this because if not then your account cannot be tally and you are not able to do knockoff for customer and supply invoice later you cannot do bank reconciliation so if you have time do drop by at my facebook it's facebook.com slash syntax technologies you can get all the latest information regarding sql and also gst or you can go to my website it's syntax.com.my go to youtube and get or watch all the other SQL accounting system tutorial video. So that's all for today. I'm Brian from Syntax Technologies. Thank you.